In this tutorial, we are going to talk about greatest common divisor or shortly GCD. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to find GCD or greatest common divisor of any set of numbers uh, as in this example. Let's get started. A um, common divisor of several numbers is a divisor of each of them. For example, if we have numbers 6, 12, and 18, then we see that number 2, number 2, uh, divides all our three numbers, 6, 12, and 18. And our numbers are divisible by number 2. Our numbers are also divisible by number 3 uh, and number 6. But between these uh, divisors, number 6 is the biggest. And this number is called greatest, greatest, common divisor or shortly G C sorry G C D um, this is the definition of G C D this is just the greatest common divisor of the set of numbers let's um, explain this definition the concept of GCD uh, using examples. Example number one. Example. Um, let's calculate the GCD for numbers 28, 20, and 12. Uh, obviously, by simple inspection, we can see that Number two uh, divides all our numbers, and all our numbers are divisible by number two. Also, our numbers are divisible by number four, and uh, this number, number four, is the biggest common divisor of our numbers. That's why the GCD of 28, 20, and 12 will be four. Next, the GCD of numbers 5, 20, and 50. It's obvious to see that 5 is, is the GCD because 5 divides uh, each of these three numbers. And this is the biggest number because one of these number, uh, numbers is 5. Uh, for small numbers, we can find GCD just by ins inspection. But for big numbers, we have to use prime number factorization. Watch our previous tutorials and you will uh, understand what is the prime number factorization. And then by, we can uh, say that GCD will be the multiplication of all common prime factors multiplication of common prime factors with the smallest exponent in each factorization. Let's see this in examples. Example. Example. Now let's find GCD. GCD of numbers 1984 and 1050. Using prime number factorization, we write 1984 is 2 to the power of 6 times 31. And 1050 is equal to 2 times 3 times 5 squared times 7. And we have to take common 
prime number factors, only common prime number factor is 2. And other numbers, 31 is not common because we cannot see 31 in second factorization. Also, number 3, uh, 5, and 7 uh, are not common. That's why only common prime number is 2. Let's write 2. And write the smallest exponent in each factorization. Here we have 1, the smallest exponent. That's why it will be 1, which is 2. So greatest common divisor of these two numbers is 2. Another example, another example, uh, let's find GCD, greatest common divisor of numbers 1050 and 14,700. Using prime number factorization, we find that 1050, we have already actually, I will not write it again. For 14,700, prime number factorization will be 2 squared times 3 times 5 squared times 7 squared. And um, common, uh, in this case, the common prime number will be between these two factorization, this factorization and this factorization. Uh, two with the smallest two with the smallest exponent will be two to the power one times three to the power one times five to the power two because in, in first factorization we have five to the power of two in this factorization and here we also have five to the power two but seven but seven uh, here will be with the power of two and here with the power of one so here we have that seven to the power of one and if we multiply these numbers it will be again 1050 that's why Greatest common divisor of these two numbers is 1050, which is equal to one of our numbers. That's why, uh, obviously, the first number have to divide the second number. Uh, another example, more complex example, will be to find GCD of numbers 200 and 34, 1080, and 8100. What will be the greatest common divisor of these three numbers? Using prime number factorization, 234 will be 2 times 3 to the powers of 2 times 13. 1080 will be 2 to the powers of 3 times 3 to the powers of 3 times 5 and uh, 8100 will be 2 to the powers of 2 times 3 to the powers of 4 times 5 to the powers to the power of 2 so let's write gcd 2 is common Two is common prime fact prime factor in this factorization, and uh, smallest exponent is one. So write two times. Uh, next number three is also common prime factor, and the smallest factor is two. That's why we write three to the powers to the power of two times. Uh, number 13 is not common. 5 also is not common. That's why uh, answer here will be 2 times 3 to the power of 2, which is 18. 
which is 18. So 18 is greatest common divisor of these three numbers because by definition, 18 divides each of these three numbers. And this is the biggest number which divides these three numbers. Uh, next, let's define um, so-called co-prime numbers. Co-prime. Co or we also write co-prime numbers. If um, GCD, greatest common divisor of two numbers, A and B, is equal to 1, then these two numbers... A and B are called co-prime numbers because uh, greatest common divisor of these two numbers is 1. Uh, it's not necessarily numbers A and B uh, must be prime numbers. For example, GCD of two numbers 15 and 22 is obviously 1 um, because... 15 can be written as 3 times 5, and 22 is 2 times 11. That's why these two numbers, 15 and 22, are co-prime numbers, but each of them uh, is not prime number. That's why the concept of co-prime number is not about prime numbers. It's about uh, GCD to be equal to 1. Uh, it was everything I wanted to talk about for this tutorial. Thank you very much. Like us and subscribe to see new videos on Open Math Camp.